Like I said, it's it's on maybe I am. Yeah, There's only one way to find out. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. See, I think that's what's got to me more than anything. Because it feels like a sort of deceit. That and where I might have been, I'd had the chance to live that other life. It's no wonder I've never achieved anything. I wouldn't say that. I mean, not that Nan's not done her best, but at the same time, what's mine's been taken away from me and I never had any say in it, and that's not right, is it? I should have at least had the choice. I should have been told. I mean, where is this woman who's supposed to have given birth to me? Does she look like me? Because I'm nothing like Nan, I can see that now. So do I look like this other woman? Would I recognise her in the street? What does she feel when she gave me up? Does she miss me? Does she carry a little photo in her purse with her? So are you going to take it any further? It just goes round and round in my head. What do I want to do and what should I do? And are they the same thing? And is it fair on everyone else? Is it any of their business anyway? And then... You should do what's best for you. I just end up doing nothing. I'm paralysed. It's hopeless. Hopeless. <laughs> My round. Open it. Uh, we on the stick, and the level of hormones in your urine will just. Uh, I'll just let you go to the loo then, shall I? Oh, and uh, two packets of peanuts, child. I think that took us a minute. And then if a person just get a map of Pendle Hill and all around that area, you know, so... I'm just going to go to the loo. Okay. out of it, you know. What? But it's nothing to be ashamed of. But Princess Diana had an eating disorder. Well, you've got me wrong. Admitting it's the first step. Good luck. Oh, they're not always right, those things. Wrong. One percent, at most. I feel sick. What am I going to do? Why are you so cross with me? I'm not the one who got you pregnant. I enjoyed that. Hope the old crowd worked too rowdy for you. <laughs> go, go. Always deceived by your spell. Oh, Gary, oh. <laughs> Only you'd have a proper hanky. Listen, now you know for sure, you should speak to your mum. I think she'll understand what you're going through. So let her be the sensible one, all right? <laughs> Must be something you ate. Come on. Oh dear, uh, you've got a bit on your um, coat. Uh, why don't you borrow my spare cagoule? I always carry one. You give it me back in the morning. 
Okay. How was the date? Oh, God. Can I talk to you? What's wrong with him? It's quite important. He's a really lovely man. Nice house, no ties. Couldn't have been kinder, and I end up... Seriously, Mum, I... God. Before that, all I did was drone on about my mother. He's not my mother. Mum. How am I going to face him at school? By not being so bloody self-obsessed. Excuse me. Well, it's always you, you, you. Oh, don't do this, Charlotte. Not now. Uh, why not? Why is now any different? It's always to your time scale. You think I'm selfish. Well, it's pretty bloody clear where I get it from. I said don't do this. What's the matter? You put on half a pound again. Um, I need to know that you love me. That it's unconditional. Of course I do. But my own mother gave me away. She got rid of me. How could someone do that? Well, you don't know how she felt, what she was thinking. I mean, maybe she was too young. I was too young, but I got on with it. Oh, and we're back on you again. Maybe you'd understand things a little bit better if you ever thought about anyone but yourself. <laughs> Have I done anything else for the past 17 years? Well, if it was such a struggle, maybe you shouldn't have bothered. Have bothered. Have bothered. I didn't give up my whole life so you could grow up and not talk properly. Why are you so ashamed of what you are? You're obsessed all the time about being something you're not. Just find your real bloody mother and I've done with it. I've got a mother as if I could ever forget it. And may I just remind you, she's the very reason you're here. Oh, and don't you resent her for it. Come on, say it. You ain't nan because she bullied you into keeping me and I'll tell you why you don't want to find your real mother because the envy of finding out what a great life she had would eat you up and spit you out. Surprised no one never said anything. Poor thing, we're probably terrified to put her out with the rubbish. So I said that the novel's relevance is that it explores the theme of self destruction, which is like an essential part of humanity, which is why it basically hasn't dated. Right, loser. Hey, slut. <laughs> um, can we go to the pub, please? Uh, there's something i got to do first. Have a look. A bit shabby, actually. I oh, know, I really need to go to the pub.